I'm going to do small dices here. What I'm going to do is cut it like this. And then I'm going to cut strips. And then I'm going to dice it. And these are cool looking peppers. Now I'm going to get to the corn. Now I've already husked it and I got this nice fresh corn from the farmer's market. If you want to look out for little bug bites like that. Let's check the risotto real quick. Yep, as you can see most of the liquid's cooked out and let's just give it a try. Still pretty crunchy, so I'm gonna cook, put another six ounces of stock in, and that should cook it enough for now. So we're gonna blanch the vegetables for the risotto, and we'll have them cooked, ready to go. And then once the risotto is ready, we can put it all together. Okay, so the water is boiling. I'm gonna dump in the corn first. Basically, in and out. The reason why I'm par cooking the vegetables is because I'm also par cooking the risotto. That way when my friends come over, I have everything ready to go. Okay, so real quick, let's just check this risotto again. And it's looking pretty perfect. I don't want it cooked all the way, like I said, just like three quarters of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it off now put it on a sheet tray and let it cool down and then put it back together later. This is my sheet tray. Okay, you just want to spread it out nice. Let's check the sauce real quick because it's smelling good. Oh yeah, and look at it. It's nice and reduced. The demi-glaze infused with the chicken stock, the garlic and the herbs. That's all you need. Okay, so I got all my vegetables cooked, blanched and ready to go. I took them out of the ice bath and now they're just sitting here with the peas and the cheese and the butter. And my risotto is cooked and ready to go too. So I got to get the chicken going and get that ready. I'm going to season up the chicken. A little salt pepper. I got my oven preheated to 450 degrees. These are some pretty big breasts. I think they'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so I got my smoking hot pan. I'm just gonna throw these skin side down. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit now that the, the low one off. Throw a couple sprigs of thyme in there. The crushed garlic bowl. I'm going to throw a little butter on top of each one and then I'm going to put it right in the oven. So I got my risotto, my cooked vegetables, the peas that I bought, some Parmesan cheese, some butter, and some salt and pepper. Okay? Okay, so um, depending on how much risotto you have, uh, I put about a, another seven, eight ounces of uh, chicken stock in there. And I've got it on a, a medium heat. 
I'm gonna just throw my vegetables right in the risotto. You can see the liquid is starting to cook out a little bit and the rice is cooked. So I can add the rest of my green vegetables, some peas. Okay, I'm gonna throw on my Parmesan cheese now. Now this is a lot of risotto, so you know, the more Parmesan cheese, you, the better. And I'm gonna put in a decent amount of butter. And then the final step is I throw in my herb mix. Okay. And there you have a nice, lovely, fresh vegetable risotto. And the chicken is gonna go great with that. Okay, let's put it all together and eat already. I know I'm hungry. You're gonna take a little bit of this. Okay. You're gonna put a nice piece of chicken on there. And you're gonna give yourself a little sauce. And I'm gonna finish it off with these nice, lovely mixed microgreens that I got. And now, I'm gonna eat it. Because I can't wait for my friends to get here. I gotta try out and make sure it's not poison, right? A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Maybe even a little bit of this. And then. That's the ultimate bite. Alright. You guys get out of here. I'm about to have a party. Show's over. Talk to you later. Get out of here. Go on. Go. Go! Go!